Alright, so on behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort and perfect alignment this intention is only to support you only to work in perfect alignment of wherever you're at right now to soothe your mind to temper the throat your conscious mind, your waking mind, your thoughts, your inner voice, your communication, not just your internal communication, how you express yourself, of course. The hyperactive throat might lead to oversharing, you know, talking over people, not quite listening or letting yourself interpret the messages. if you have your own intention you'd like to set see if it likes focusing on this candle today <laughs> I go with the other way, sorry but let's see and we'll move on thanks for It's very soothing, very gentle, very cooling, and mints work very well, and herbs in general typically work very well with the throat. So I'm just going to spray my hand. here, a little circulation, getting it moving, and giving it a way out, so it's not bubbling over, it's releasing gently, perfectly, easily, gently, allowing yourself, allowing your own energy to access this corresponding point, Throat, the logic, the analytical mind. I want to call to the surface any reasoning behind this, an insecurity, a need for control. If it's not serving you only, of course, you can release. cross your vision, you know, you might become aware of it, you might not. Feeling like you want to be in control of everything is sort of a safety net, right? I think when we feel like we have all the details, we feel like we can influence those details or prepare for them. And of course, preparing yourself is quite important. Needs to be a balance between that. You can only prepare for so much, like so far ahead sometimes. Because when we line everything up, we're not really. 
properly again, opening ourselves up to all the ways things can happen and a lot of times we're making things overcomplicated. You know? yourself drift, let yourself go with the flow here. It's amazing how things can work out when we loosen up a little bit. When we give things a little bit of space to form in. We remove a little bit of the boundaries we've set. As far as planning, I mean. whisper stone. Very nice to work with if you often deal with a hyperactive kind of looped thought. But we're just going to go in and break up any deeply tethered pattern of negative thoughts need for controlling and needing to know everything. If it serves you, then it remains. But if it's not helping, let it go. You have put a lot of responsibility on yourself, or you just might be for whatever your situation you know, under pressure, responsible for a lot of stuff, feeling responsible for others, and you very well may be. But there's a reality to that, and then there's a, like, extra weight, an extra burden that sometimes forces that control. So, I'm just gonna focus kind of behind the shoulders here. Excuse me, between the shoulder blades. Leaving any stress here around the shoulders, shoulder blades, center, center point between the shoulder blades. Around this portion. Okay, I'm just gonna tap into the elbows.
smoky, little steel sort of Herkimer shape. See how pretty it is. Gorgeous formation. Gorgeous, grounding, comforting, smoky cords with all these, you know, terminations. And we're just going to move through and guide the relaxed state, that shifted frame of mind, shifted frequency in the mind to move and carry through, through your meridian. use this enchanted essences of lifting with the intention to uplift your thoughts. In the ears and down below the clavicle, down the arms. Just so gently, and up behind the ears again. Hope you enjoyed this little session. I hope it supports you in some way. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight. <laughs>